With the recent announcement that OpenAI's co-founder Ilya Sutskever left OpenAI for good, not many expected him to announce his own super intelligence, as he calls it. And not only that, but it is supposed to be super safe as well. Many people believe in him. So at the very least, we need to know what's behind all the secrecy. And let me tell you, this goes deeper than it looks. Ilya is back with his own new project. Remember the Twitter post in which Ilya shared the news of his resignation from OpenAI and said, I'm excited for what comes next. A project that is very personally meaningful to me, about which I will share the details in due time. Well, that was an announcement and here is the project, Safe Super Intelligence Inc. Nobody expected that it would be that big of a news. So Ilya Sutskever was the co-founder and the chief scientist of OpenAI. He was the brains behind the famous chat GPT. The feud between Ilya and Sam Altman, co-founder of OpenAI, back in November 2023 became a hot topic in the AI industry, shortly after which Ilya resigned, specifically on May 14th, 2024. It was speculated by many that Ilya resigned because he saw OpenAI as unsafe technology. And although it was pretty much just rumors back then, I think the name Safe Super Intelligence makes the reason for this resignation now pretty obvious. By the way, if you want to know more about that topic, make sure to check out our video Stop Using ChatGPT, in which we have explained all about the big safety concerns at OpenAI. All right, so let's see what safe super intelligence is and whether it will be possible for the company. So what is safe super intelligence? Well, this company was founded on June 19th, 2024 by Ilya Sutskever and two more co-founders, Daniel Gross and Daniel Levy. Daniel Gross is an American entrepreneur who co-founded Q, led artificial intelligence efforts at Apple and was a partner at Y Combinator. Besides being an investor in companies like Uber, Instacart, Character AI, Perplexity AI and many others. And Daniel Levy, a principal scientist in SSI, has a track record in AI research in Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and OpenAI as well. The company introduced itself as, we have started the world first straight shot SSI lab with one goal and one product, a safe super intelligence. Here's what they state as their mission. SSI is our mission, our name and our entire product roadmap because it is our sole focus. Our team investors and business model are all aligned to achieve SSI. And for their approach on how they want to achieve this, they stated the following. We approach safety and capabilities in tandem as technical problems to be solved through revolutionary engineering and scientific breakthroughs. We plan to advance capabilities as fast as possible while making sure our safety always remains ahead. And at the same time, when there is news that OpenAI is transforming from non-profit to for-profit, SSI says our singular focus means no distraction by management overhead or product cycles and our business model means safety, security and progress are all insulated from short-term commercial pressures. Is Ilya trying to start a strife over safety with OpenAI? I think he is. I mean, what do you think about this? But now comes the question, what do they mean by safe super intelligence? There is nothing on the SSI website about Ilya's plan for SSI and safety yet. So for now, we try to understand what they mean with any other context clues and we can find on our own. So what we do know is that there are three stages of AI. ANI, which stands for artificial narrow intelligence. AGI, which stands for general intelligence and ASI, which stands for Artificial Superintelligence. And ANI is the stage we are in right now. Just a machine forming a sentence in a logical way. No thoughts, head empty. AGI is the stage where a machine would understand the world just as well as any person does. It is still hypothetical and has not been achieved yet. While ASI, so artificial superintelligence, which Ilya claims to build, is an even more advanced concept. Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom describes ASI as any intellect that greatly exceeds the cognitive performance of humans in virtually all domains of interest. This is also a hypothetical idea and is still many decades away from becoming a reality, or at least theoretically. So the big question is, 
on what basis is Ilya making such a big claim. In an interview with Bloomberg, Sutskever said, by safe, we mean safe like nuclear safety as opposed to safe as in trust and safety. So that it's not going to explode resulting in a nuclear fallout? Wasn't that concern about AI safety all about privacy and media manipulation? Ilya has always been talking about the safety of AI technology. In his interview with The Guardian, he talked about how AI's goals should be aligned with our goals. Yeah, I mean, we definitely will be able to create completely autonomous beings with their own goals. He was under the apprenticeship of Geoffrey Hinton, known as the godfather of AI, and more about him in our AI history video, by the way, if you want to watch that. So we cannot question the capabilities of Ilya. I mean, he should know what he is doing. But many questions are still unanswered about safety. I guess at this point, we just have to wait for them. But in any way, I believe the safe superintelligence will become a big competitor in the AI industry, probably as some sort of A and I instead of an ASI straight away. However, I'm skeptical about how the company will be able to get huge investments right now when their main selling point is more interesting to consumers, or it seems so, than to investors. And with AI being a highly commercial and competitive industry, will they have to risk their motto for success? Unless I got it completely wrong, that Bloomberg interview kind of makes it sound like this is not going to be what we all are expecting, but well, only time will tell. And anyway, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this and let us know what you think about this whole situation in the comments down below. Am I being completely wrong? What do you think? And by the way, what do you think about a potential scenario where we have all of the crazy going AI, but then we also have the AI police that is trying to control the other AI? I can imagine a world where we have all of these different AIs basically competing against each other and all is going to be just running on microchips everywhere. So thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.